hey hey beautiful libras welcome back to the channel you beautiful souls i really appreciate your comments libra know that let's find out what's going on if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so it's um and hit the notification bell i've been getting a lot of uh, comments that people aren't getting notified so in order to be notified when i release Oh, this guy doesn't belong here, guys. When I release videos, you have to hit the notification bell. What about Libra? Hmm, beauty. Rose here. Someone's getting encouraged. There's revelation here. Someone's doing their prayers. Let's see what's oh somebody's coming out of fear that's awesome thoughts are here of love courage a new world a new love <laughs> it's like there's still something there lurking in the shadows but you're coming out of fear or someone is about to come out of fear there's thoughts of love and courage in a new world here it's like somebody's well there's like very little hope but there is a little there you know so it's like hoping there are thoughts here of love someone's thinking about you or you're thinking of someone they're about to you're getting strong and you're on a new beginning and you're just sitting here in this gratitude like <clears throat> there's scars here but probably from this king arthur who wants to communicate wanting some peace or you were just now communicating loving on you this is love this is peace this is communication from some sort of emperor you're independent now <laughs> but it's like someone wants to initiate something it's divine order destiny companions so this is like the three of cups now either it's reconciliation or it's you just being independent following your destiny divine order is taking place you're filling your own love cup take it as it resonates because someone's going to offer you a rose they have had a revelation about their happiness. Someone is seeing their self-worth or seeing your worth. Gifts are here. And path to love. That's reconnecting. That could be reconciliation of self. But that's connection. Someone is manifesting this, say in their prayers, that is uh, earth and grounded and knowing your self-worth. You have taken your power back. You are riding uh, the dragon. <laughs> it's like, I got my own dragon I'm riding in on. Because mm. the universe stepped in. <laughs> Divine order. <clears throat> Giving you a bunch of wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. There's been some dormant aspects that needed to be awoken in you. And it could have been this fear. 
things that you're working on something that's been buried deep below the surface you know and it's like probably it's been making you feel depressed or sad but don't stay in that energy because there's something huge happening for you here in love and as well as your own personal growth there's been a loss okay but you're gonna find your bliss something is ended you're finding your way home you're finding your own bliss there's been silence and it's like in this silence you are nurturing yourself and it's like you're getting stronger and stronger you're finding your path home whatever that is to you there's been silence but it's been a, a good silence. There's a mirroring going on here. It's like somebody had to make a decision to express their, their fire, their passion. Uh-oh. New love here. <clears throat> now <clears throat> this passion my throat chakra closed up it's the first time it's happened today usually it happens every time the king of cups comes out but today it's that there's been silence and nobody did express themselves and by you divine order is here been called somehow divine order is taking place and you're getting stronger you're finding your gifts your passions you are mirroring one another Hmm. you're opened up to the universe there's been challenging times but it's like you're exactly where you need to be because the universe what there is this love unconditional love now this could be love of self but there's two people in this card so somebody wanting to rebuild you're rebuilding yourself but this is somebody who needed to simply love like this is childhood woundings this is someone who needed to heal their heart chakra this is from childhood to manhood so yeah and releasing some belief system that they had that it's not good somehow for um, people to show emotion somehow. That's because this person, that's why my throat chakra closed up, I guess. Thanks, spirit. But uh, yeah, afraid to express how they feel. It's not typical of this person to do. And it's like somebody had to release because... They couldn't fill your cup. They couldn't give you what you're looking for. It's equal give and take here. So there's been some sort of silence and separation. And what this has done is allow it to heal you. Nurture yourself. Open your third eye chakra, your intuitive skills, and confront their shadow. Face your fears. This person needed to confront this, whatever this was, from childhood. And until this whole situation took place, this person couldn't confront their childhood wounds, which needed to be addressed and confronted. To 
to rebuild on a solid foundation. And until they do that shadow work, yeah, and something, you got a new foundation, new vitality. You seeking the truth, you're probably going to the universe. Things are like, you're revitalizing yourself. You are taking your power back. You are in control. And probably, thought like I thought, they, they figured by being in this sexual energy somehow that they would have control. But the bottom line is you took your power back. You detached. Got to let it go. For success and growth. If you're going to see any growth here or success. till this person had to take leadership. And like confront their shadow and step into a leadership role. You're blossoming. You're you're like attracting all this abundance toward you, this happiness. You're blossoming because you're manifesting. And they could be manifesting you to strengthen some bonds. They could be in sadness or isolation, but <clears throat> unless they've done the work, they're not going to communicate it because my throat keeps closing. It's like they got to learn to address these childhood belief systems about, well, not everything is about sex, okay? Passion is great, but you got to have the emotions to go along with it, okay? Choose your battles. It's like they're standing in front of all these faces with chakras. There is the sacral chakra, the heart chakra, and the emotional chakra here. So that is primarily the chakras that are preventing this person from being their true authentic self. And they're leaning toward the sacral chakra, and which is here, sexuality. And they got to confront something about themselves. And it's like, this is all for teaching and learning change you got to change that belief system and then love will abound opportunities are beckoning and it's like new experiences a new way of being it's love self-love new experiences learning to strengthen bonds and manifest your own self it's all about the collective you can't control what other people do, the lessons they learn or not learn. So the only thing you can control is you and love of self. But I can see that you're going to be thriving. Hmm. Take the lead. Someone's seeking. Win or lose. Something had to change. It's like someone feeling like they put in a dedicated effort. And if they put in the dedicated effort in doing the shadow work, they will receive a well-deserved reward. That's a great accomplishment. So just breathe, you know. There's some type of coming together that's here. And again, it's being lifted up. Healing. It's all about healing. There will be joy and stability. You'll be shining. Or you probably already are. Tell me about Libra. needed to learn to control now look the sacral chakra colors all these uh yeah they needed to learn how to control it 
their sexuality. And it's like... That's what I mean. we got our own journeys to figure out. Each person has their own walk to walk. And it's just what it is. Being ghosted, being in hermit mode, doing the work. Have to go and do the inner work here. You are very spiritual. You're very intuitive. You're the empress. You're very attractive. You are very successful. You'll be shining like this star. This is divine order. This is, this is destiny. This is what spirit's talking about. Fates, destiny, it's like divine order is taking place in this situation. And now it's like up to this person to do the work. They were very selfish, greedy, self-absorbed. And it's like, they're like, you can't come in like this page. I'm sorry, you can't. It's like offering very little. It's not going to fill your emotional side. It's not going to fill you up until they do the work. Mm. <laughs> and it's like, I see they want to offer some sort of commitment. But you're chasing them away because you know there's nothing in this cup emotionally for you. The cup, the cup is empty, the, you know. They spilt out all these cups. They they could be regretting it, but they've created so much sadness. Like divine order is here again. Higher lessons learned. It's to it's not to hurt them. They gotta face their worst fears. They gotta face their shadow, their childhood, whatever. There's some hidden something hidden in there. They gotta bring to the surface. To heal before they can offer you what it is you're seeking. And it's like. Ah. Honor and respect is coming to you. And it could be from the universe. From this. Um, if it's career or court or something like that. It's, you're going to get the honor and recognition you deserve. I just know that. And it's about uh, consequences. Somebody is getting judgment here. they got to face their fears. Somebody could be going to jail. My God. For being a fool. like a roller coaster you know what I mean juggling and now there's trust issues it's like they were refusing to see like there's the cup is empty again turning their nose up at the universe ignoring their emotional side they have them but they won't express them there is communication coming in. What's this all about? Oh, yeah. Started probably involved with a family matter or issue. There's some... It's something to do with a love situation. Oh, they could have chosen another family. They could have had another family. They could have chosen another lover. But this is you now just looking at... You're building your own solid foundation and manifesting after some heartbreak. The truth is here. This person lived in denial, did not want to see what they had to change about themselves. So the tower hit. And it's like you had no choice, no decision really, but to take a different path on your own. And on your own, your ships are coming in. It's like...
You could have been waiting for communication or waiting for them to speak a truth. But they're stubborn. It's like they chose the wrong path and it's like kept everything uh, in limbo and it's like they needed to put in the work to get the blessing but they held back and maybe now they want to <laughs> you know what I'm just saying I'm looking at you I know that they want to come in and have an opportunity with you to put in the work because they've already held on to you, but now your emotions might be closed off to them. Because divine order took place here, they wounded you. And it's like you had no choice but to take, take control and move forward. You had to take the lead. And, you know, there's maybe no closure here, but they were toxic. It's like, I don't know don't like it it's they got to do the work period or there's going to be no success for that person things got to change you have the wheel of fortune hmm divine order is here a judgment is like there's been too much pain. There's been too much cheating, lying, sneaking. And it's like... I don't know. It's like being left out in the cold. And, you know... What? Something from their childhood had to come to an end. Okay, this theory of it's all about sex it's not you had no choice but to take control back to get balanced again and give to yourself and now you are like know your value know your worth this is a soulmate close connections it could be also partnerships Forming new connections and soulmate connections. Ooh. It pretty much pushed you away. Even though this was a love contract. Past life soulmate contract. It's like they pushed you away. You could have invested a lot of time and energy into this. And it's like... I don't know. You had no choice to move on for your own happiness and let let this go. Because quite honestly, they didn't care. They acted like they didn't care. There could be jealousy or stuff like that. And it's like they didn't care. They showed no emotion. And walked away. Probably to a third party now they're heavily burdened because they're facing all these challenges and obstacles then they can't figure out why it's because of their wand they got to get out of this mentality even if they want a new start with their empress you can't come in like this you got to come in with emotion passion is great but if you can't fill someone up emotionally and in a heartfelt way, I mean, you can get this anywhere, to be real. I mean, if we're looking at, I don't know. I just know that if you're not accepting a past person back, if they're in this energy, they're not worth having. Because you're going to go through the same thing all over again. And if it's a new person, Spirit is saying there's a new soulmate contract lined up before you. If this person 
does not but it's like you can't wait your whole life you have to move on and it's like if this person can't communicate with you and this person can't do the inner work then what do you have to work with i mean you could have been this person's guide but you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink and you can't make people do stuff that they do not want to do they you know you got to get out of that energy whoever this is i would just say for libra to focus in on libra if it's meant to be here this person is going to do the work you're not going to have to do nothing it's not you that got to reach out and the spirit is saying don't reach out it is the other person that has to do the work um they're the ones that broke the contract and it's not being stubborn it's so that this person you're gonna know how they come if they're coming correct or not you're gonna know you don't reach out to them it's them who got to reach out to you and you're gonna know if they're being genuine or if they're not being genuine genuine it's showing that some of these people actually are going to do the work and other ones are not going to they they're not ready so libra that's what i have for you today good luck